real estate fans, it's the Lakeshore's favorite realtor. And today we're coming to you from beautiful Lakeview here at 1618 Alexandra Boulevard. Behind me, one of the classic, almost Ontario cottages of this pocket of Lakeview. And I am so excited to get you inside to see this three plus one bedroom, two bathroom home on an oversized lot in a prime location in South Mississauga, so close to that lake. You can feel it in the air. Let's get inside and take a look. Ah, nice and chilly outside and beautiful and warm inside. And right away, you fall in love. Beautiful warm trim, gorgeous wood floors, newer, but they have the feel of the cottage, the distressed look. Huge double deep closet here to my left, right off the main foyer. Now, these people, these sellers right now, they use the back door where we have a nice foyer back there, a little bit of a mud room, but this is where the guests come in and man, do they get the wow factor. They peer straight through into that yard, through this gorgeous kitchen, into that dining room, and man, I'm even looking over here at this gorgeous living room, and I just don't even know which way to go. Of course, the heart always goes towards the kitchen first, so let's start there. And it's filling me immediately with all of the feels. Look at this modern, customized kitchen for this space. Super high-end appliances in here. We have the gorgeous Sub-Zero fridge. Look at this, perfect for this space. Thermidor dishwasher, all built in beautifully here. And that easy to clean glass cooktop stove here from LG. Look at the sleek style of this. Bigger than a condo, but compact in using that space on a much higher end finish than you're getting in a condominium or something like that. Tons of storage below, tons of storage up top, and a perfect spot over here for one of these beautiful pieces of furniture, bring in that feeling of that cottage back into that modernization that you're getting here at 1618. And now look, perfectly situated is that window. And I'm looking down the street at the gorgeous mature treetops, the little cottage house across the way. And I'm thinking, now this is a neighborhood I can fall in love with. Speaking of falling in love, how about falling in love with someone where you gaze across the table at them in your dining room? Am I in a magazine here? Because I feel like I am in a magazine here. Look at this yard, look at this space. Beautiful light fixture, just completely complementing this kind of distressed look harvest table. This muted shelf matching this wall, but really highlighting these things. And this is that charm, that character. You don't see it often in Mississauga, but you're getting it here at 1618. Now I love the division, but it's open here. Not too open, but just the perfect amount. There's also a passway through right here. that makes it very handy, giving that open concept feel, but giving you all the division so that spaces are on point. Store stuff against this wall, put a bench over here on this side, you get the idea. This space really lends itself to so many different options. Let's see some more with this living room. This space is lovely. Look at the crown molding in here, classic plaster stealing, not popcorn, plaster. It's got that elegance to it. Love this door here, frosted textured glass, but also it's another pathway right through to that front door. This whole house has this perfect flow and it's because of features like this. Now look at the space that we have. Oversized couch, certainly over 101 inches here. And I'm getting all that room over here by this gorgeous window with these gorgeous California shutters, painted black, to go with the richness and elegance of this specific property. All the room for this oversized, beautiful piece of furniture here. You got the room for the big screen TV. And look, two huge chairs here, and even a side table here pressed up against that wall. This is a lovely size to entertain, to sit and watch TV with a loved one. Whatever you want to do, you can do it in here. Now this passes through, this was opened up, Easy to put back, even as part of an agreement here, we could put a wall back in here because this takes us through to our main floor bedroom for that single level living I know so many people are after. Originally, this was a bedroom. It was converted back to make it an office, but it's up to you what you wanna do. If you need some help rearranging it, you know who to call. Let's take a look. 
You can see there's already a door here, perfectly set up for that main level bedroom. And look at the space, room for the dresser. You got this gorgeous window, double hung, classic Ontario cottage vibe. Little bit of a plate rail up there, just in the one section. Put this bed right here, of course, or put your desk back, whatever you wanna use this space for. You got pot lights in here, you got a really good space, and you got this double access, which you can do so much with. That same distressed, newer hardwood giving us that classic look with the modern, no squeaks, no creaks. You gotta love that. And just another room, bring it in the feels from that yard, which is so incredible. I know you're gonna love it when you come and take a look. All right. Let's head upstairs. Walking through here, I really feel like this is the money shot. Look at this gorgeous door, new door, looks classic. Isn't this kind of the cover of the magazine? You know, your Brad Pitt, you're putting on your boot and you got this view behind you and this classic door and these gorgeous wood floors. And you think this house has something special. This is that back mud room. The family comes in, the parking's at the side of the property. So much space here. You're gonna love this when you come and take a look. The garage is back there. Everyone comes in here. Go downstairs from here. You can pivot to that front hall. It's all set up perfectly at the back of the property. And you knew, think about that childhood. The houses that were the best, you didn't go to the front door. You always went around the side or to the back door. In 1618 Alexandra, it's one of those houses. All right, let's get upstairs. The highlights don't stop down there. Look at the second level. I'll give you the lay of the land. Cameraman standing just inside of that first bedroom, vaulted ceilings in there, gorgeous window, shuttered windows, original hardwood flooring, all the feels in there, original trim, just you gotta love the romance of this house. Behind me, another bedroom, same feel, double vault, Gorgeous window, the shutters, tons of room in there. Right to my right here, we got a big closet. And I do mean big. Gonna get a lot of storage stuff in there, a lot of linens, a lot of overflow items. You know you need that. To my left, oh, that's the bathroom everyone wants. And it's one of two. The other bathroom downstairs is fantastic as well. Might as well start back here. Let's go. Full queen size in here, check this out. Closet over here on this side. Love this bed, love the feel of this room. Look at these shutters, look at that double hung window. And just imagine yourself with the tea in the morning, staring off into the trees, thinking about walking down to the park with the pup, with a nice tea, whatever it is, this house has it. More room over here for that work from home desk, the dresser, and you got that queen size bed with tons of room for those side tables. These are mature size rooms and they got a really proper feel to them. Let's see the other one. Moving forward, man, these floors are in great shape. and They're just giving me the feels. You're gonna hear that from me. I've already said it a bunch of time, but feeling is what this house is all about. The double vault in here, on point, great space. We got another queen size with those oversized side tables, another double hung in here. Look at these shutters. You know, it's that kind of Southampton vibe, that classic Ontario, but here in Mississauga, where so many people have taken the character out of the house, this is the house where the characters never left. More room over here, look at this piece, and this is the kind of house you're gonna showcase pieces like this one. Even though you have a closet, bring in the wardrobe, grab a dresser that you always wanted that actually says something about who you are so that every day you wake up, you remember, Hey, I'm me and I'm special. And these awesome pieces of furniture in my awesome kind of art gallery, original Ontario cottage feeling house, say it all. All right, let's check out this bathroom. Now we all love those heritage feeling properties, not heritage in the, hey, it's heritage, but got the feeling of heritage, it's got history to it. But you know what we always say? I, I love the old home, but oh man, then you get into old bathrooms and kitchen. Well, guess what? 1618 Alexandra changes all of that around. You get the character, the feel, the charm, the romance of a property like this with all of the modern updates. Both bathrooms updated, that kitchen completely updated, high-end appliances, 
you're getting the best of both worlds. Look at this shower stall. I don't normally even focus in on the shower stall. We kind of have a raised, beveled, elongated, gray subway tile, beautiful on point, pop of color in here against our neutral, large format white tiles. Just simple and classic, super deep soaker tub in here for those wine and candlelight nights of relaxation and just taking it easy. And we got the oversized rain shower head in here for just getting it down in the morning, but feeling good on the way to work. Great spot for the throne. You'll see another privacy window in here in that double hung style. Love that. Love this pedestal sink. Harkening back to what? The feel of the property so that it doesn't feel out of place up here. It's like a hotel in an old mansion that you really want to stay at. You go, oh, it's got the new beautiful bathroom that I want, but it's also the charming. You get the idea. Two sconces, perfect spot for that mirror and a partridge in a pear tree. All right, let's go downstairs and check out the lower level. Going downstairs, love that it's divided by another door, which is just great if you're watching a movie or really hanging out down there. You got that sound barrier. Coming downstairs, first things first. Oh, ceiling height. I thought when you said it was a kind of classic Ontario cottage, I'd have horrible ceiling height. And now you're telling me I have great ceiling height, Mike? You're gosh darn right. I'll give you the lay of the land down here. Big storage closet slash utility room here off to my right in this door. Lovely updated bathroom here to my right. Cameraman standing just in front of a huge family room. And off to the left, we got the laundry and more storage and another storage room. And you kind of think, how does a house like this have so much space? It's a Titanic of a house. Okay, it's not the Titanic of a house, but it is a lot larger than it's gonna appear from the outside. And you can really see that every inch has been used. And man, when usability meets functionality and style, you get something special. Check out this space down here. You got room for that oversized sectional. You could put that big screen TV. We got another room that just, this is underneath the porch there, a little cold room. Nice height in here. Window bringing in that natural light and more room over here. You got that plus one vibe, a bed down here for a student, a mature parent, whatever. You have something going on. And oh yes, the double closet. And this is all in that little family room area. How perfect is that? Let's see this bathroom. Another beautiful bathroom in here. And these people, they have taste, I'm gonna say it. All of the things that they've done to this house have been well thought out. So you see themes throughout the house that tie other themes together. So you have another modernized bathroom here in this classic home. You got these little touches of black and white bringing it classic feel, that little bit of turn of the century Manhattan, that little bit of boutique hotel. You get the same thing from the shutter. Remember, I mentioned the shutter upstairs, painted out, bringing you that vibe. You get a much more turn of the century shaker style medicine cabinet in here to just bring it all together. And the same theme of the subway tiles from upstairs coming down in here. What's the mood of this house? It's art gallery, it's warm woods, it's whites, it's light grays, it's softness. And it's all coming together beautifully here. Let's see this laundry room. So I love these clients, but I think it's safe to say they are snobs, appliance snobs. Look at these raised oversized, beautiful LG washer dryer set. Gotta love that. You got the newer laundry sink in here. Great spot for utility cart for all of this kind of thing. Big window in here. Look at this though. This is what I love. It's been thought out. You're doing laundry down here. You don't want to dry everything. You got this hanging bar. It's the same feel. It's kind of, it's not steampunk, but it's that gorgeous kind of cylindrical turn of the century vibe. That little bit of industrial turn of the century feel, tying everything back together. Gray floor in here, white appliances. Do you see what I'm talking about when it comes to a theme? A classy theme, if you ask me. Let's see more. Oftentimes people see a beautiful finished basement like this and they say, but where am I gonna store anything? Well, let's remember, this house has huge closet space. 
It's got additional storage in here, not to mention more storage over in that utility room, which is huge. And you got those big closets in the garage in the back. Now that garage is gonna serve so many purposes. What an exceptional lower level. And look how neat and tidy these people are. You can tell a lot just by what's important to them. Entertaining things, festive holiday things that surround me, an art easel. And this is the kind of lifestyle you can live here, just enjoying every season to its fullest. All right, speaking of seasons, let's go out back and talk about how you might experience the seasons in this beautiful four season yard. Normally, I wouldn't wanna step outside on a day like today, but when you step into a yard like this, with all of this charm, with a deck, privacy fence, a sitting area, a view, and man, a massive abundant amount of space to live your life. Now, even the details of the fencing, the trees, the plantings back here have been well thought out, like the design choices that have been made inside. Now, I love this. Here's our lead to our man door of our garage. We got a separate side gate with the stone pathway, parking for two, three, four cars there, not including inside this garage. And this is sectioned off, so you still get all the use of this yard and we come back here and it actually feels like a whole other yard. A bit of a natural garden through here, and you can see this is fully fenced for pups. Hey, you dog people, this is a location to have one. You can do lots of gardening. You could do those big, beautiful vegetable gardens you've always been talking about, and you got that garage. If you wanna expand, you got the space to do it. This is a yard for all seasons, for all people, and for all pets. What an awesome house. Okay, let's go inside, talk a little bit more about this property, this location, and why you gotta stop wasting your time and get down here to see this place. So I really can't say enough about this house. And like I was saying before, it comes down to, well, a feeling, an emotion that you get. And really isn't life about that type of feeling? When you fall in love, when you meet someone the first time and you know you're gonna be friends for the rest of your life. Well, you get that feeling from 1618 Alexandra. I was saying to a fellow realtor friend of myself the other day, this is the kind of house that we all wanna sell because it has a soul and it has a feeling that you just can't make up. So. Huge amount of square footage here on two floors, not to mention a fully usable basement with that high ceiling height. One, two, three bedrooms, plus a plus one. You got two working updated bathrooms and a gorgeous kitchen to boot. Lots of storage, lots of utility, and a yard that cannot be beat. One, we're super wide and we're ultra deep. We're also a corner lot. We're on a corner lot on a beautiful, quiet little pocket where you get extra width and extra size to every kind of angle. So it feels like you're on an acre here, even though you're just on an oversized city lot. Now, as far as Lakeview is concerned, there's huge development going on south of here because it's so undervalued right now. You're getting this waterfront, you're getting these parks, you're getting the schools, the lakeshore, the access to our main throughways, our access to our best shopping centers and everything right here in only a minute's drive. You're getting that best access to Toronto with not actually being there and you're getting all of the rest that Mississauga has to deliver. You really gotta think twice about coming down here if you're not considering it yet. Well, it is a gorgeous afternoon. I'm thinking I might need to have a little glass of wine and just take in this property. You guys, you can do whatever you want tonight. You just, well, you can't do it here. So get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>